Hola, es mi Lisa, o Ana Andita Latin Sana. Welcome to my channel, and if you are new on my channel, please click subscribe, ring the bell for you to be updated for the new videos that I will be uploading. This vlog, I just want to share you those Egyptian words uh, that I've learned for these past six years that I've been here. Simple words that I was using to communicate to Egyptian people every day. For the first word, we have Isaiah and Isaiah means, how are you? Uh, so, as you notice guys, the, the girls will be Isaiah because there's IK in the end and um, Isaiah for the boys. I know most of the Filipina that was working already been in the Middle East know about this thing. So that's it. Isaiah Isaiah means how are you? Um, in Tagalog, we say that kumusta ka. So let's move to the next word. So the second word is just like the first word Isaiah Isaiah. But uh, sometimes they say also Amla e. And you will answer, uh, Anak kwaisa, alhamdulillah. Or, Enta amla e, enti kwaisa. Or, if they mean, uh, how are you? Are you okay? You are okay? You are fine? It's just like this. So, sometimes I answer them, uh, like, uh, Aywa anak kwaisa, alhamdulillah. So, I am fine, thanks God. That's it. The, uh, this is what it means by, Anak kwaisa, alhamdulillah. Word will be esmik a, esmak a. So it's like the first one that I've said. Ik is for the girls and I ak is for the boys. So esmik a for the girls. So what's your name? It have the same meaning as esmak a. So if they ask your name, you're gonna say your full name, and uh, it's up to you. Gonna say your name. So <laughs> that's it. Let's move to the next word. Words are so simple, guys. Um, we gotta start with a, ah. a ah or nam. I mean, it they means yes, yes. And uh, la a. Ah. I know uh, al also a lot of Filipinas already about this, but la a ah or la is no. So a uh, ah or nam is yes, and la or la a ah is no. This word will be ente kamsana or enta kamsana. So this uh, will be the same meaning, guys. But it says, "How old are you?" Enta or ente sakna fen hena felmasr. Or it means, "Where do you live here in Egypt?" Or "Where do you stay here in Egypt?" So the next word, guys, you, uh, you can use it when you are riding on a taxi or Uber or Karim, private cars. Or sometimes they're gonna ask you like this word, this, this question. So, Ente Aiza Truhifin, and you will answer, Ana Aiza Truhifin. So, Aiza Truhifin means where you, where do you want to go? And Ana Aiza Truhifin. Is I want to go to, so you will say the place where you're going to, to. So, let's move to the next word. Question they always ask to me, Baladik Fin. So it means, guys, where is your country? This is very popular to us, uh, Agnabeya or foreigners. They ask us always uh, because they cannot determine if you are Chinese, if you are Thailand or. Nepali or Indonesian sometimes they cannot determine us because uh, they said they we have all the same faces and the same eyes so they always ask us Baladik Fin or Ento Vilibin or Ento Indonesia or there's a lot of questions uh, when they see us because uh, they cannot determine us guys hindi nila alam yung pagkakaiba nating Pinay sa mga yon, kasi totoo naman na mga hawig natin sila. Asians! So, hope you like the part 1 of my Egyptian Arabic words, guys. Um, in the next video, I'm gonna 
share you more and more Arabic that I've learned. But for now, I just really need to rest because I have a work tomorrow. So, I need to say goodbye. But oops, before I say goodbye, of course, I uh, I should show you little Arabic that I've known. Ana is Melisa. Ana is Melisa. O ana ani talatin sana. O ana menul mas sitis ninin sinin. O ana bishtagal hena per mas. Ana pahbe awil mas. O al akl halwa awi halwa gidden. O okay da. Lazim a ana haru ashen. Lazim inim andi shogi bokra. O shuf ko na al part two betad al biju da. Paragu, syukran, get done, pastis bahalake. Bye bye guys.